to slice, you'll soon be able to get a calorie counter on your mobile phone. The Israeli company Consumer Physics is developing the project, and the chief executive, Dror Sharon, told me more. The way this works is that you shine light on materials from about a centimeter away. You illuminate an area of about a pound, and that area has been analyzed in our cloud-based database. Uh, we turn the information to your smartphone in less than 10 seconds. It tells you the uh, calories, carbs, fats, proteins per 100 grams in real time. And this will be in any mobile phone? So currently it's sold as an accessory, a Bluetooth accessory to the smartphone with applications from our over 1,000 developers that can you know, tell you calories but also analyze many other types of materials. And we expect over the next probably a year or two more likely for it to be inside smartphones, yes. So calories, fat, sugar, it will be able to tell you what you're about to eat or not eat. <laughs> yeah, it will at least be able to let you know what you are eating. And uh, over time, we think that with the rich applications that will be developed by our developers, uh, developer ecosystem, people will be able to make it more and more useful and understand more about the food that they eat. So, of course, obesity is a growing global problem. It's a serious issue. So what reaction have you had to this so far? So, you know, food is one part that we are uh, uh, tackling. There are many other things like gemstones, uh, pharmaceuticals, etc. But definitely on the part of people that want to uh, enter, create nutritional interventions, this is something that can actually train people to make them understand more about the food that they eat. And do you think it will become just part of a kit for a smartphone within just a few years? Yeah, I believe that just like in the early 2000s, there was a religious debate in the technology world about whether we would need or not need a camera inside a smartphone. There were no smartphones then. I think that has been resolved. And from my perspective, in a few years, you know, children 10 years from now would not even hesitate. For them, it would be just a natural part of their life to be able to analyze whether it's food, Pharmaceuticals, plants, you know, you name it. Gosh, you're on.